a 21st century funeral for an 18th century Highlander on American soil. We gather to recognize, memorialize, and reinter the earthly remains of 13 of the 14 found hastily buried in this dirt. Thousands turned out in South Carolina to mourn, and it was a funeral like no other. Honoring British and American sacrifices from the 18th century after archaeologists made a remarkable discovery. On this soil in 1780, the Battle of Camden claimed the lives of thousands. It was one of many hard-fought conflicts against British rule that eventually led to the creation of the United States of America. This is uh, not only a once in a career, but never in a career opportunity. So it's been such an honor and a privilege to be able to help understand who these individuals were and how they may have died. The Highlander was our deepest buried individual, um, much more than the other individuals. Some people were this far below the surface. You could really witness from, from the burial context how hastily buried they were and historical accounts of some not having been buried at all. The day that we uh, exhumed him, someone brought some, uh, a bottle of uh, scotch um, to, to commemorate the event and, and give him a toast. Soldiers from 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland, flew over especially to be pallbearers for the remains of one of those unearthed here. His heritage traces back to the British 71st Regiment of Foot, Fraser's Highlanders, a Scottish regiment formed for the Revolutionary War. Well, it's something that's very humbling and I think thought provoking in terms of thinking back at the history and then also hundreds of years later being able to be involved in giving the, uh, the soldier the send off he deserves is something that I'll be, I'll be proud in years to come of. Across all three services we have 850 service personnel across 30 states um, out here working and literally uh, you know, hand in glove, the closest military relationship we have working extremely closely with, with all of the US services. Um, it's a right relationship we really cherish. So we're all operationally experienced soldiers, but to lay a soldier to rest in the battlefield where he died almost 250 years ago, I think adds a sense of significance for us. And it's not lost on us that we've got soldiers in our battalion who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in recent operations as well. We're just mesmerized by the fact that Great Britain chose to fly them here from Scotland to do this. I think for both nations, it's important to reconnect with our history and understand who we are, how we got here, how then we transition from enemies to close friends. And um, the mood in the town of Camden and in Columbia yesterday, it's just palpable. In the days before the ceremony, a convoy carrying the soldiers passed through the local community, giving people of all ages the chance to pay their respects. We read the information and we knew what was what was to be expected, but I just wasn't prepared for the emotions of it all because there was you could there was not a pin you could not hear a thing drop out here. It was silence. We're headed to Fort Jackson. Uh, that's where all of the U.S. Army's soldiers do their basic training, and we're expecting to see hundreds of them come out to pay their respects to the soldiers uh, in what will be the finale of the convoy. And it's just been incredible to see the response, to see the connection. And what a turnout when they arrived. Hundreds of personnel were keen to catch a glimpse of the convoy. Fort Jackson's commander, Brigadier General Kelly, was moved by the chance to honour them. So what more do we know about the British soldier? I've come to meet a former US Army sergeant who's now a reenactor and military historian. It probably enlisted probably in 1775, 1776. So he had already been soldiering for four to five years. And uh, the 71st, they marched everywhere. They covered the entire state of South Carolina at one time. So the British Army always used them as the shock unit coming into a battle because they were greatly feared. What do you think he would have made of all of this? Um, so they were used to death. Death was an everyday occurrence and a partner in their life. So I think he would have been, uh, been happy to see it as a ghost standing there going, yeah, 
I, I appreciate that, chaps. The remains of the American soldiers will be kept with the U.S. Army and the Highlander with the South Carolina Battleground Trust until a cemetery can be created at the site where they will all be buried together. Jean Gwesjek, Forces News, Camden, South Carolina. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.